All right, hey guys, what is up? It's Bibzuda back here once again on the Outlast Trials doing the 15th weekly therapy here. No rigs. We are on Cleanse the Orphans, which is the first full trial in this weekly. We already completed the three MK challenges prior to this, so check those out if you haven't. And of course, you might think I have a stun rig on here, but uh, I just paused before the whole thing loaded up. And as you see, when I unpause it and repause again, there it is gone. So we were rocking Noise Reduction Strong Armor Incognito. No rigs, increased threat. Pretty simple weekly, of course, this week. And it is uh, just, you don't have your rig available. But, I mean, that is a bit more of a handicap than it may originally sound. I mean, having the rig as a, whoa, awkward. Okay, that's fine. Awkward start there. But having the rig available to bail you out when you mess up or, or get caught in a dangerous situation is obviously very nice. So it can be, a bit annoying sometimes to just not have it, but as long as you're a bit more careful, then you shouldn't have too much trouble. And we're gonna not look for the poster in the lobby in case that guy's still on us. Should have no issues grabbing it when we come back down later. But surely he doesn't come up the stairs right. There's no way he'll do that. Um, yeah, but right before I did this trial, actually, I went ahead and did my sixth uh, reagent release. So making slow but steady. Pro oh wow, they're both in the girls' forms. That's nice. Uh, making slow but steady progress towards the 100 reagent releases for that final uh, trophy thing that you get in your sleep room uh, cell. Obviously, that will take absolutely forever to actually get. But uh, I wonder if they'll ever increase that number or like have have higher leveled ones of them. Um, I mean, it's not it's not a bad goal to just like have there for people who really play a lot, and you know it gives you a reason to even do the reagent releases after nine, because I think there's currently nine outfits you can get from the uh, reagent releases. You know, the ones that cost ten thousand. Um, I'm just gonna do this, I guess. I don't know where, if Gooseberry might be in there, though. Yeah, I'm a little bit <laughs> scared by from doing that. I should, like... Oh, yeah, I would hope that that would, like, have ended up luring them outside of the room, if anyone was in here. Whoa, pal. Calm yourself. Okay, always oh, checking under beds and stuff. Let's make our leave. Very nice, very quick, very clean. But um, yeah, what I was saying is um, it's not a bad goal to have in the game to go for these reagent releases, but again, um, having that extra trophy at 100 is obviously trying to keep you motivated to keep doing it after, again, there's only those currently those nine outfits that you unlock with one with each. Um, reagent that you set free or whatever and then well as of the 1.0 update they're uh, they're not all exactly getting set free if you know what i mean but um yeah the um the thing that i hope that they add and i've mentioned this a few times in videos is that i'm really just wanting to see some way of being able to continue to gain xp um because i mean the, the 1.0 update came out and added you know, you went from max level of 56 up to... Oh, got a person hiding in there. Uh, oh, nice. Another poster. We do have this area and one of the others. So we should be able to use this to get them out of there. And yeah, it's still fine. So actually, do you have... I'm not 100% sure. I guess you, that counts as like an environmental use. And you have unlimited uses of those. So I can do that as many times as I want. Also, I forgot to check if the secret room was in the lobby. I was just listening there for a second to hear if uh, the... Is that another poster? If the, uh, the reel was meant to go in there, but no, it is meant to go in there. Secret room could also be here, and indeed it is. Let's go ahead and open this bad Larry up. Another one, yeah, usually is end up being around this corner. And we can also combo it with getting the reel in, or just see around this corner. Oh, he's behind me. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I keep getting... Oh, 
I'm actually glad that that is what ended up happening because now I can make sure I walk all the way around and it doesn't auto path me onto the glass. This is a wow, this is a big room, honestly. I didn't realize this whole bathroom thing is back here, but this is like one of the very few secret rooms, or maybe the only secret room that I've seen. But there might be others, of course, that I haven't seen. But this is like the only one I've ever seen that has like a trap in it. Sometimes it can be that um, that sound, uh, that glass trap on the ground, which is pretty annoying. Because, I don't know, I generally think of the secret rooms as essentially being safe, but as far as I know, when they're unlocked, people can still wander into them, so they're not actually really that safe at all, so. Um, but again, keep getting sidetracked by stuff happening, but. Yeah, like I was saying, at the 1.0 release, they, they increased the level cap from 56 to 65, and, I mean, in at the end of the day, that's only a nine level increase, and... If you play a lot, you know, you do all the weeklies and you're trying to, you know, maybe complete all the programs because they do a complete rework of all the way all the programs work. Um, then you'd probably already be done with that after just like a couple of days of playing after the release of the of the 1.0 update. And that's how it went with me. It's in here, right? Yeah. That's how it went with me as well. Like just a couple of days or, or maybe at most a week after the release of the of 1.0 I was already back to max level one having that XP gain at the end of each trial for that short amount of time was was pretty nice and it's, it's cool to have that feeling of progress aside from just getting item unlocks and and money obviously is is all you end up getting after the XP is is gone and the the whole reason of or not not the whole reason but one of the big rewards for getting an a plus is an xp bonus now I, I i do think it used to be money before they removed it and then what they added back in 1.0 was an xp bonus for a plus i think you also do get one more um item unlock like if you get an a plus you get two items instead of one and i'm honestly pretty surprised with how many items they added in 1.0 i mean i did expect there to be quite a few but at the same time, there is, you know, I, I've done quite a lot of the game now since the update, and I'm still unlocking items, so I'm really wondering how, how many they did end up adding. And a lot of them are purple uh, or epic rarity, which costs a thousand each, so it's going to be quite a lot longer to get all the items unlocked, especially because there's also, like, tons of new uh, room layouts or whatever for, for 10,000 each, so. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's kind of cool just having those goals to go for, and... Getting money is pretty slow uh, from the current setup of trials, and I would say it's certainly not worth it to grind Program Ultra just for money because it is barely, you know, it's not enough more for how much longer it would take, especially if you try and go for good grades. No luck on an easy gas spawn. There is our friend. Is he coming in here? I don't think so. Grab the gas and try and get back over there before he does. Oh, thing. oh, I missed it. Where is he? I'm, gonna watch you die. I'm confusion. I guess he was still over there. Oh, yeah, there he is. That's what I thought. That's where I thought he was, but I couldn't see him. So I was confused. Okay, he's on the move, going off to the other side for now. Yeah, behind us. Can at least hopefully get some of these done. Ah, crap. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Right, we're just going to give him the bricks uh, so we can do this without being interrupted. So he'll, I probably won't be able to get the whole thing done before he comes over. And with strong arm, that'll put him out of commission for more than enough time for us to get the whole generator started out. Nice and smooth basement section. And we're going to head now into the courtyard. Look for our... Wow. Rarely see a poster there, but time to look for our keys. There's our friend. That's the bunny. I'm not sure if I snuck in here quick enough. We need diamond and crown. That is fire. We have Pusher coming out. That's hard to believe. Being chased on either side. Hard to tell. I don't think so. Where is he? Behind me here? Okay, we 
Okay. Uh, I think we're okay. Uh, but we need to ski daddle for sure. Hopefully he doesn't get up in time to chase us. The other one, ah, sh oh, shoes. We'll just pick that guy as well. We need the diamond. The other one should be up here somewhere. Usually one down there, one up here. That's probably it. Yep. Nice to have these uh, reliable distribution things that you can count on for the prison and, and or I always call it the prison, but it is the police station. The police station and the you know wherever there's keys, basically, there's normally a sort of a distribution of them that is fairly consistent between trials. Like there'll always be one down in the courtyard somewhere, and then one up above, or at the most, like right behind that barred door that we opened to begin with. I mean, pretty quick uh, execution of this trial. No demerits so far, I don't think. Hopefully, we are smoothly through to the end. And I've kind of just been rambling on about random stuff in this video, but also been like getting sidetracked and not finishing my thoughts. So I apologize for that. I know that can be annoying when people do that in videos, but overall, I think as like a summary of what I'm thinking, it's just like I wish there was a a way to maybe prestige and get you know just. Like it is in Call of Duty, even just like a little icon that's like you prestige X many times or, or whatever. They already have the profile borders for the reagent releases, but as far as I can tell, because I've done six now, they stop. You stop getting new ones after like four releases. Which hello, are you gonna come after me? Or not? Which I mean, that's not really a lot in the grand scheme, especially when you eventually want to go for a hundred. Hey pal. Hopefully, oof. Oh, there was a poster there that I missed earlier. I wasn't sure if he'd be stuck in that swing ending animation for long enough to... And yeah, Gooseberry spawns there. She's been doing that in the past few attempts I've done of this trial, which is pretty annoying. Because now there's two of them out here. Yeesh! Ooh, this is going to be dicey. Let's see, I guess we'll jump the wall. Maybe they won't know where I went. Oh yeah, it's clean. It's clean as it gets. So yeah, they made the ending of this a bit harder if Gooseberry ends up getting outside there before you arrive. I mean, having her and the big X pop around is, is usually gonna be pretty difficult because neither of them can be really handled with the bricks or bottles, but a pretty solid 12 minute, 10 second A plus run there. I'm pretty happy with that, especially without a rig available. And I don't believe I got any demerits, no sir. Very, very nice, yeah, pretty smooth. So we only have one more trial to go with this weekly, which will be Grind the Bad Apples. Um, so that, that one generally is a longer trial just because of the size of it. And the, I mean, I, don't know, I just feel like that's, that's probably the longest one. Um, well, I, I really haven't done Pervert the Futterman much at all. So maybe that one ends up being quite long as well, but that one and Vindicate the Guilty end up being quite a bit longer than Kill the Snitch or Cleanse the Orphans for me. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next, uh, the next one for the final of this weekly. And then we'll head back to finish out Program Ultra.